<laughs> um, let me introduce you properly first. She's a singer, a songwriter and producer. She's been uh, songwriting since the age of 13 and she's had over 1 million YouTube hits. And is it in less than a year and about two years? Yeah, about a year and a bit, yeah. Well, that is big though. Uh, please welcome to the studio, Nike! Woo! <laughs> it's at Buzz Asia 963 and 9 at 7, 2 a.m. So, firstly, if people are listening, they're like, oh, but who is Nike? Who is Nike? Um, I... <laughs> who are you? <laughs> um, I'm a London bred born uh, girl. <laughs> um, yeah, and I've been writing for quite a while. Um, and I started posting covers on YouTube just to get myself out there and it's gone absolutely crazy like, over the last year. It's been insane the number of views and like the amount of support and the following that I've gained. Like, yeah, really, really fun. Would you have expected that? I mean, you post one... What was your first cover, actually, you ever posted on YouTube? Can you remember this? Yes, I can. Because you've done so many. It was um, an Alicia Keys cover, uh, a song of hers called Diary, quite a sensual song. Uh, yeah, and when I put that up, no, no, I had no idea that things were going to go as crazy as they did. I only did it because, like, my friends were badgering on it. Oh, really? Put it on, put it on YouTube. Because so many people are putting covers on YouTube now. So did yeah. you think there was a way, maybe, to obviously get that more exposure for yourself as well? I thought maybe... Well, when I first put, when I put the first one up, I thought maybe, you know, some people might see it. Um, but, yeah, YouTube is a, is a crazy place where, like, just people just stumble yeah. across your videos all the time. I had no idea the extent that... Uh, yeah like the videos would get go at all um, and it's not some people you've had like more than a million hits now that's massive yeah it's really crazy YouTube <laughs> as we all know you're like this massive YouTube sensation uh, another guy which I don't know if you've heard of he's called um, Hamza and his okay. videos are called Diary of a Bad Man <laughs> Now, wow. when you get home, you really need to check him out I because will check him out. he has had millions and millions of people. But he's not a singer. He's okay. not a singer. You're like, oh, is he a singer? He he does these weird like they're not weird. But he's really talented. But he does these sketches okay. of like portraying Asian life and how his mum is and stuff like that. So he's a comedian. He's a comedian. Uh, that was the word I was looking for. <laughs> he's a comedian. Um, so he is massive at the moment um, in terms of that. Um, anyone else? I mean, that we should be looking out for on YouTube because you're in that scene. Um, well, I talk about it like it's like a different world. <laughs> <laughs> As we spoke about before, um, I have done a couple of collabs with a really talented, talented even, um, singer called Sean Rumsey. And I know, I think his EP is about to drop really soon. Um, mm. Yeah, he's doing big things. Uh, yeah. And yeah, and he is a, you did a, uh, a Nelly and Kelly song, I watched. Yeah! That was recently. really good. How Thanks. does that work? Are you in the same room and you sing that together or is that two different? We are, yeah. I went round to his and... Uh, oh, so anything he... happened there? Uh, what? No, I'm joking. <laughs> a bit of singing. Uh, and some filming. That's right, um, Yeah, so he sent me the track and was like, I've got a really cool idea for a cover. Do you want to jump on board? I'm like, yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a lot of fun working with him. And if anyone has their own videos on YouTube and they want to work with you, they want to do a cover with you, how yeah. does that work? Do they just have to contact you? Or? Yeah, I mean, I have, I'm fortunate to have a lot of people who ask, um, yeah. but obviously you can't do covers of everyone. Yeah. So, um, but, you know, there should be a few more collabs coming up soon, which I'm quite uh, excited about. It's Vina V on Buzz Asia 963 and 972 AM. Hello, it's 23 minutes past five right now, and we've got Nike Jemmy O in the studio. Hi. <laughs> I'm a rubbish singer. I'll never be a singer. I'll leave that to you. Uh, Nike is going to do an exclusive cover of, uh, I'm not going to say the song yet actually, but from Mumsy Stranger. She's going to do that very soon. I can't wait. Are you looking forward to that? Uh, I am actually. You're like, um... <laughs> I learned the song very, very quickly yesterday. Actually, to be honest, I kind of uh, emailed your manager yesterday, I think it was, and said, oh, can I cover this song? So it's, it's last minute. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wonder how it's going to go. Yeah, I hope that... Well, I, I've got the words here. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Oh, okay. She I shouldn't have told anyone. Now. She doesn't really have the words. No, no, no. They've gone. Like they've gone. gone. <laughs> what? Yes. Um, now, you are the queen of covers. Um, do you find it a bit weird now? that people are actually covering your songs because you've done a lot of obviously covers over the last kind of two years mm -hmm. um, on YouTube but now you're coming out with your own music yeah 
But people are actually covering your songs now. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Um, we ran a, a competition uh, for one of my songs off my EP, Round in Circles. Um, so yeah, and it was really cool. People entered and they covered like my songs mm. and covered like the whole thing, so did a verse and a chorus, and we had to choose a winner. But I do remember the first time like we got an entry through and listening to the cover, and I was just like, this is really weird. Someone's covering my song. Yeah, someone's <laughs> singing a song that I wrote. This is really strange and really exciting. Oh, and uh, things like X Factor. Mm. Would you ever go on shows like this? Because obviously you've got a massive following, and it is a massive following on YouTube. <laughs> so would you maybe take that success and go on X Factor and kind of you've already got a fan base already that would vote for you? Uh, I do understand. Uh, it, it is tempting. It is an option. I'm not so sure if X Factor is really the kind of route that I want to go down. Yeah. Um, I do think that the artists uh, are guided quite a lot and I like to have the freedom that I have now. So, yeah, yeah I, I don't know if that's the kind of thing mm. I want to do personally for me. Yeah, and if N-Dubs can do it, so can you, because N-Dubs started like you were doing, they were just like putting their own videos, mm -hmm. making homemade videos, putting yeah. on YouTube, getting it on like Channel U and a whatever it's called now, AKA, yeah, AKA. all those kind of uh, channels, and they've done it all themselves. Yeah, they've done really, really well. they worked really, really hard. Mm. Really, really hard. Are they like an inspiration to you, or who do you class as your inspiration at the moment? Um, well, I mean, I did watch a documentary um, on N Does actually recently, and like the insight that it gave is, is mm. really eye opening, like how hard they work. Yeah. And even their management was like, basically said at the end, if you want to make it, you need to work as hard as N Does yeah. have. You can't um, be sat on the sofa watching your every day. No, it's not no. going to work. I mean, they're, yeah, they're in the studio, they're mm. writing, uh, and they were out doing their videos and, and performing mm. and stuff. And, and there are a lot of underground artists that inspire me in the same way, that just work really hard. As well as like in the US, Nicki yeah. Minaj is another one that everyone knows. You know, she did it herself. Mm. Um, Drake did it himself. So there are, there are a lot of people out there that are, just, that are just doing it themselves. And, and I don't know. <laughs> But right now though, at this moment in time, mm. I'm gonna make you do something for us. Oh, okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not going to sing, by the way. I'm a rubbish singer. Uh, it's going to be on London's Buzz Edge. You can stand, you wherever you want, while I'm just talking away here. It's coming up to half five, and uh, right now, I feel I don't feel nervous for you. I feel really <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean that in a bad way. I came out wrong. I'm, I'm excited mm. in a nervous way because I, I I have to say this before you do sing. Literally yesterday, I asked Nike's manager, I'm like, oh, can she cover my favourite song? Because I really wanted you to cover a song from a British Asian artist, because you've yeah. done so many covers, obviously, from Rihanna, Leona mm -hmm. Lewis, all that kind of stuff, and you haven't done a, a, like an Asian artist yet. So I wanted this to be an exclusive and a first. So right now, you're going to cover a song. I'm really hyping this up. I, don't, <laughs> I hope you're not under pressure. No, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Uh, you're going to sing for us now, Mumsy Stranger, and this is One More Dance on London's Birthday.